Hey, this past Sunday, we talked about um, Daniel chapter 1, and we talked about the way that Daniel uh, received what he needed from God. And one of the things that he needed from God was Scripture. This is how he made the decision to to not eat the food that he wasn't supposed to eat. And this got me um, thinking about what Paul tells Timothy in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Um, he says, All Scripture is God-breathed but, and useful to teach us what's true and make us realize what's wrong with our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what's right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every work. So thinking about just that particular text and what Daniel needed in order to be faithful to God, the food was where Daniel drew his line. And he knew that because scripture had taught him what was true. There were only certain foods that he was supposed to eat. It made him realize what was wrong. If he had eaten that food, it would have been wrong for him. And if he would have eaten it, it would have corrected him when he was wrong. <clears throat> and knowing what he was supposed to eat, that taught him to do what's right. So what I would encourage you to do today is to is to think about Scripture um, kind of as kind of as a map um, that shows us the path that we are supposed to take. Maybe when you go and take a trip, you use GPS on your phone, and it shows you what trip you're supposed to take. It shows you what route you're supposed to follow. Um, and God's word is a lot like that map. God's word is a lot like that GPS where it provides direction and clarity um, for the trip that we're taking. And that's exactly what scripture does is it provides direction and clarity for the, for the journey of life that we're on, for the way that we are supposed to honor and glorify God with our lives. Um, that's what I'm praying about for you today is that you'll really see scripture in that way. You'll approach scripture in that way. Um, so that you will have the life that God intends for you to have. Because remember, God doesn't just tell us that he wants us to do something, but he gives us what we need, which is scripture. He gives us what we need in order to be obedient to him. He gives us what we need in order to follow those instructions and to live out his desire for our lives. So again, I'm praying with and for you today. Um, and to that end, that you will... You will approach scripture in a way that God is telling you um, exactly what you need. And he's telling you and giving you the tools you need to live your life in accordance with him. So love you, praying with you, praying for you, and looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow.